on YouTube. Welcome back to another video. My dog Bandit says hello. Bandit, say hi. Yeah, I know. Super charismatic, great dog in front of the camera. But today, we are doing a pre-workout review of the Greek Freak uh, by Force Tech, I believe. You guys should have already seen it, but in case you guys didn't see it, this is the product right here. Uh, we got the mythical fruit flavor, that's their version of Fruit Punch. We are gonna be hitting the gym right now. I've got two scoops of that product mixed up right here. So we're gonna drink it, we're gonna go work out, and then when we get back, I'm gonna do a full review of the product. So stay tuned. We've got our product right here. I'm gonna walk you guys through all of the um, categories that I'm gonna be using to rate this product. We're gonna rate it on the ingredients, the taste, the price point, the mixability, and does the product actually work? And then at the end of that, I'm gonna do like an overall summary. Um, in each category, I'm gonna be using a five star rating system, which is the same system that I use to rate all of the products that I do reviews on on this channel. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so the very first category we're gonna go on is price point. And at $40 a bottle, this uh, product is going to get four out of five stars as far as price point goes. So if you round that out, each bottle comes with 30 servings per container. Hopefully you guys can read that. 30 servings per container at $40 a container. So you're paying roughly $1.33 every single time you take a scoop, every single time you go work out. That is way cheaper than if you were going to be buying like, you know, one of those ready to drink pre-workouts at the gym. So as far as price point goes, this one gets four out of five stars. All right, category two is gonna be taste. I can only give this specific product, or this specific flavor rather, which is the mythical fruit flavor, I'm only gonna give this one two and a half out of five stars. To be honest, the taste is pretty rough. It's, I'm assuming they were going for like a fruit punch kind of flavor, you know, it mixes red. So that, you know, typically is what the companies are going for when they're doing like the fruit punch flavor. But in all honesty, it, it's pretty nasty. It tastes like a really um, bad version of like the, uh, the red Hawaiian punch, like the original like Hawaiian punch. Um, it's honestly, it's pretty bad. If you mix it with water, it's gonna be really bad. Um, I would suggest maybe if you're gonna be taking this product, mixing it with like a red Gatorade or a red Powerade kind of to compensate for flavor wise, because it's pretty bad. I'm all, this can only get two and a half out of five stars. All right, so category number three is gonna be mixability. Now this one, this product is going to get three out of five stars for mixability. The only reason it's not getting like a two and a half or a two out of five stars on mixability is because I've found that if you actually let the product sit and stay in the water for a while, it will actually eventually break down, but it does take a while. So if you're just the type of person where you just need to, you know, dump the product in some water, shake it up and drink it immediately, it is not going to break down at all. If you're gonna be someone who's drinking it immediately, it's gonna get like a two to a two and a half out of five stars because it does not mix well right off the bat. However, if you are the type of person where you can just like dump it in there, mix it, and maybe you're gonna drive to the gym, I would suggest letting that product sit in the water on your drive to the gym. And then by the time you get to the gym, hopefully it'll you know have been long enough for it to break down, but it doesn't mix well right off the bat but it will eventually kind of sort of break down if you leave it in the water for say 10 minutes or so. So three out of five stars. If you're gonna be drinking it immediately, maybe two and a half. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the ingredients of this product. Now, the blend that this product used, it's a very standard lineup as far as ingredients go for today's pre-workout um, market. You know, it's got beta alanine, it's got citrulline, it's got, you know, agmatine sulfate, tyrosine, taurine. It's got a ton of amino acids in it that are supposed to help increase blood flow. It has the beta alanine, which is still an amino acid, but it helps, you know, like the longevity of your workout because it buffers that lactic acid buildup, which is like that burning sensation in your muscles that causes you to ultimately fail. So it has some of that in it. It has caffeine in it. It has some yohimbi. It has some huprazine, you know, stuff that can help you like 
focus a little bit better on, um, on your workout. And then it has a whopping 20 milligrams of niacin per serving, but that is the only ingredient that they actually tell you exactly how much is in per scoop. The rest is in a 10 gram uh, overall proprietary blend that they call the Greek Freak Explosive Blend. Um, me personally, I hate it when companies don't tell you exactly how much of everything um, is in like, you know, per scoop, per serving in the product, so I really don't care for that. Um, there's nothing really that like jumps off the label at you. It's honestly something that you would see on most pre-workouts if you took the bottle off the shelf and turned it around and started reading, uh, reading the ingredients. So nothing too special about this product, but there's nothing like bad about it either. So I'm gonna give the ingredients of this product three out of five stars. For the final category, we are going to go over does it work? This is where I talk about like, does the product kick? Does the product give you the desired results that you're wanting for taking a pre-workout? Um, and honestly, I can only give this product two and a half out of five stars. Um, I'm basing all of like this entire review and everything off of taking one serving, taking one scoop. And if you're only gonna be taking one scoop, in my experience, pre-workout, um, it just, it gives you a little bit of energy. You know, you feel some of like the tingling and the flushing from like the beta alanine and the niacin that's in the product but it doesn't really give you any more kick or energy than like taking um, like a scoop of C4 from Cellucor or drinking like a bang energy drink. It honestly doesn't kick much more than that. Um, I have taken it where I've tried like one and a half to two scoops, but in my opinion, you shouldn't have to be like doubling up on scoops um, in a pre-workout in order to actually get like that rush, that kick, that you know sensation that you're ready to go in the gym. And when you're taking one scoop, I just don't really get any of that at all. Um, so I can only give this product two and a half out of five stars as far as does the product actually work. In summary, this is a pretty boring pre-workout review for a pretty average product. Um, it's not that the product was terrible. It's not that I hated the product. It's just that if I'm gonna be spending 40 bucks on a month supply of pre-workout, it's just that I'm not going to be spending it on this. There are a ton of other really good quality pre-workouts out there for the $40 to, you know, in between like kind of that sort of price range where you're getting a lot better results out of just one serving of the pre-workout. Um, I wouldn't be buying it again, but at the same time, I wouldn't really tell you guys like specifically not to buy it. I'm just giving you guys a review based on me using the product for about a week and a half to two weeks now. Um, so overall guys, like probably two and a half out of th or three out of five stars for the total product. Um, like I said, it was a pretty boring uh, review video, but to be honest, there wasn't really anything that special or that awesome about the product in general. So I did the best I could. But that's gonna wrap up today's pre-workout review. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate everybody who has been supporting the channel and subscribing and sharing and liking and commenting and doing all that good stuff. Um, there's gonna be a one more pre-workout review video coming in the very near future. Um, that one is gonna be a little bit better <laughs> than this one that I'm doing right now. But like I said already, thank you guys so much for watching and, and supporting. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you guys next time.